Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will discuss about provisioning infrastructure for Kubernetes. Depending on your choice of infrastructure for Kubernetes and HA preferences, deploy the required infrastructure as planned. In our case, we decided to provision infrastructure on VirtualBox VMs. In our case, we're going to provision a five node VM with just one vCPU each and one GB of memory on each. Well, in fact, for the worker nodes, as well as the load balancer, you can take down the memory requirements to 500 megabytes. We can either just provision the required infrastructure manually one by one or use some kind of automation tool like Vagrant. If you use VirtualBox and haven't explored Vagrant, I highly recommend that you do. It's very easy to get started with. We will be using Vagrant in this example. I have a Vagrant file that deploys this setup with a single command so we can all ensure we have the same setup to work with. This will deploy five VMs, two for master, two workers, and one load balancer. It assigns the IP addresses to each of them. It adds DNS entries so they can reach the internet, and finally installs Docker on them. So let's see this in action. In this demo, we will see how to provision the required VMs on VirtualBox using Vagrant. The Vagrant file that automates the creation of these VMs is already available in the Vagrant directory. So cd into the Vagrant directory and run the Vagrant up command. This will provision all the required VMs. They're all Ubuntu Bionic VMs. They get IP addresses in the subnet 192.168.5 as specified here. On the worker nodes, it installs Docker version 18.06 and also enables IP bridge forwarding. So we will do that now. On the left, you see a command prompt window. On the right, you see the virtual box with no VMs. CD into the Vagrant directory and run the Vagrant up command. On the right, you see the VMs getting deployed. It takes about 10 minutes for the environment to be ready, depending on your system and network resources available. Okay, so we're done with the deployment and all VMs are up now. We will now look at how to access these VMs. In the directory from where you ran the vagrant up command, there will be a .vagrant hidden directory. This is where the private keys required to access the VMs are stored. There is a folder for each VM, and within that, the private key is stored under the virtual box folder. We will use this to SSH into the nodes. The first way is to SSH using vagrant itself. Vagrant SSH command can be used to SSH to the node like this. This way, you don't have to explicitly specify the private key. Or you can use any SSH terminal tool to SSH to the worker nodes, such as PuTTY. In my case, I use something called as mobile XTERM. Now, you don't have to use the same. You may perform these steps on your favorite terminal. Just make sure that you use the right SSH private key. At the end of the day, you should be able to easily access the nodes. In my case, I create a folder for this project. I'll group the sessions within it. I then create a new SSH session, use the IP of the master, which is 192.168.5.11. The username is Vagrant and the path to the private key. The session name is going to be master-1. Ensure you're able to SSH into it. Repeat the same steps for the other nodes. Well, that's it for this demo. In the upcoming demo, we will carry on from here and we will move on to the rest of the configuration for the cluster.